Oh. Yeah, this is how there were rings on the diet that day. I'm going to tell you a story about being on the downs with Michael Mooney. Flipping out at the Mother's Jam. Four walls between me and tranquility. Four walls between me and eternity. Four walls between Gary Mitchell's drawers. I was standing there on all fours. At the Mother's Jam, she came round to me. And she fucked me royally. Like an amphetamine pessary did come into me. And I did kiss her kiss her and I surely did not miss her on the day on the mother's jam I was uh, sweet 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 and the wind blew and everybody asked me is this the way it normally is and I said no 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 this is a particularly special day this is the day that maniacs come up and grab you. This is the day that maniacs come up and they see, they read, they see the clouds above you and they smash their faces into you. Police come running afterwards, say to the maniacs, we know who he was, he was escaped, but he wasn't from Broadmoor, he was escaped from somewhere far more than that. And you don't meet them till four years later when you're trying to buy them something. You walk into loot and you see it's a perfectly good day. The guy's got stars all over the walls that he wants to throw and some of them might go into you and you're only made of meat, flesh, blood and bones. And that's no good at all, but they've got to rehabilitate them somehow. And that's why you find them living in council flats and you walk in, you're completely unprepared. The guy's got a fucking enormous rhinoceros head on the wall and says he's an artist. But what do you know? You're scared shitless. Because you're not knowing how to deal with people like this and he looks like Boris Becker, and he's fucking cute. So you immediately respond, because we respond to TV celebrities. And you feel compassion, because you naturally feel compassion, and if there's any light in you at all, the light will come out when you see somebody who looks like Boris Becker and claims to have a neurological problem. But you won't go up on the downs with them. So you buy a small electric piano for a hundred pounds so you don't feel bad. And you leave and you know they've got money to eat for a couple of weeks and you walk off with the piano. <gasps> but it's freezing, freezing cold because you were only going out for two minutes and you ended up speaking an hour and a half to the guy. You're freaking out. So you go up to the downs and you think, I'm going to see. I got a date with a lusty broad. I got a date with the mama earth and you feel her like an amphetamine pessary zooming into you and it's so beautiful you just want to get down just kind of grabs you by the poo poo and you feel wouldn't it be great if tangerine dream had been really sexy wouldn't it be great if the orb all wore lipstick you start thinking, wouldn't it be great if System 7 all started having Google boots? And you start yearning for a thing called Glambience. So you go in search of Glambience and you're walking around for a long while. Boom! You see somebody fluorescing and you think, I know that man, he's fluorescing. And you know what? You see, that man would be fluorescent even without the fluorescence. But he knows to wear the fluorescence because he's got a date with the same lusty broad as me. And you think of the Hindu temples and you see the men in the Hindu temples with big, beautiful erections and you see the women shimmy around their beautiful erections and you think, these people are not in denial. These people are not in denial. These people are not in denial. These people are celebrating! They've been celebrating for 6,000 years and they're still celebrating. So why am I screwed up? Well, what it is, baby, is monotheism has got ya. But what you do is you walk out of the city and you walk and you make yourself cutesy wootsy wootsy and you start to approach yourself with a kind of 
Glambians! Whoa, whoa, whoa! And soon you'll be projecting, teeter tottering and projecting, and you will not be in denial anymore. Because you will summon up something so much greater. <sighs> like a brother hood, like a sister hood. As many hoods as you want together. A whole bunch of hoods, all hood, 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 hood. And everybody will be happy just for one moment. And even if you fall asleep, it doesn't matter because it'll be like Woodstock. It doesn't matter if you go on to be an accountant because you glimpsed for one precious second of your life! And why do you think Harry Houdini spent so much time escaping from shit? Because he nearly saw it! He saw the lights and he knew it was not what he thought it was at first. And he did not deny it, but it burst! So he was shaking and quivering and he was shivering and he was shivering in his booties and he was a cute cute cutie dancing but the only way he could deny it was to say I wish I didn't try it but he stepped over the mark and middle America would not like that because they hate oh culture so he tapped into the American brain and he said what the Americans need is another hero. And he spent the rest of his life looking for that one glimpse. Looking for that one glimpse. By fighting the physicality. Fighting the physicality. Fighting the physicality. But not denying the physicality. Embracing and working. Embracing and working. Till he was a regular Barishnikov. Till he was a regular Diaghilev till he was a regular beautiful man. And people would come from miles around and they say, Harry, 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 we want to give you a head, we love you. Harry, 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 we want to love you, we want to love you. And Harry would be entirely encased in chains. They'd be throwing him off bridges. He'd be going down 120 feet and there's no way he's going to make it. And Harry's under the water. time Harry it's not what he wants but he has to take it it's not what he wants but he has to take it just to plant a little tiny tiny seed 